What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful July 4th. Happy 4th of July to folks out there. Be safe out there this weekend. Pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy world we're living in. It is uh, about 12.52 p.m. California time. July 4th, 2022. Latest quake shows uh, looks like a 1.1 into the area of Southern California. I did have some activity kind of ramping up here around the New Zealand area as well. I'm gonna go ahead and double check that right off the bat here. See what's going on down in New Zealand area. Uh, originally had an earthquake come in here as a 5.5 magnitude. Looks like the USGS dropping that magnitude significantly to a 4.6. Do you wanna check out the EMSC model here real quick and see what we got uh, far as a different agency goes and reporting the earthquakes and magnitude here. Go ahead and zoom in to New Zealand. Looks like a little activity by the Java Trench as well right now. Uh, New Zealand area looks like uh, these guys looks like they uh, man where'd he go? Is it, is it even in there? Looks like they kind of dropped it pretty far. There we go 4.6 around the South Island of New Zealand. Looks like about 10 kilometers for that uh, earthquake right there for the depth. A couple other smaller earthquakes in the mix as well. They have been seeing a little bit of uh, a little bit of deeper movement out there around the New Zealand area. But uh, looking at today's activity, it looks like uh, quite a few threes and even that four up and down the board. Still under quite a bit of strain here with this region. Uh, I think we're going to see a couple scenarios either larger scale earthquake activity around the Kermadec Trench south or uh, we could see some further large scale movement up here to the uh, north along the Kurokam Chaka Trench uh, it's bound to happen it's been all too quiet here recently uh, looking at the further map we did have one earthquake in the Fiji and Samoa area this one pretty deep 425 kilometers for a 5.2 um, but other than that, haven't seen too much activity here in the past couple days. Been, been kind of a quiet spell, and that's not normal for that area. Uh, over here around the uh, Bangkok area, looks like a couple fours kicking up here in the Andaman Sea. A pretty good swarm of activity. Uh, so far, it looks like a 5.1, the largest in this swarming area. That's taken place at about 10 kilometers or so in this region. Now, I know the um, EMSC had an earthquake over here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, they had that 4.7 up here in the purple circle indicating the uh, most recent quake. Looks like there may have been a 5.0 in there as well um, just a little bit ago, as we've seen here on this map as well. So this area, this type of event uh, near the Port Blair area, Looks like uh, could be building up to something significant in the region. Normally this type of swarm uh, anywhere would definitely constitute a, uh, a possibly a much larger earthquake happening here very soon. Uh, these are pretty, uh, some pretty moderate sized quakes. So just a heads up for this area in the Andaman Sea region. Up north of the Himalayas in the China region had a 4.6 that one kicking up uh, looks like last night and a couple other spotty earthquakes throughout the region here. The Atlantic Ocean all pretty quiet up and down the board. Uh, South America seen a little bit of activity here along the plate boundary of the Antarctic and the Pacific area had a 5.0 along the Pacific Antarctic Ridge and also some movement offshore with a 5.0 in the West Chile Rise some pretty shallow movement down there in the spreading centers of the ocean. A uh, little activity into the, looks like the Prudchilly Trench area once again. Yesterday, this is pretty active in this region. Uh, today, it looks like things calming down a little bit, although somewhat still active. Puerto Rico Trench. Let's pull up the all magnitudes here. Not a big deal at all. 14 earthquakes, nothing in the last hour all looks like a uh, typical day there in Puerto Rico. Just typical microquake swarm and some other larger quakes in there. A couple twos. Uh, West Coast. Uh, kind of lighten up down here in Southern California. Notice that south of the Garlock Fault shear zone. Things kind of ramping up today. 
uh, with a bunch of quakes, 2.2 in the Anza area. Most of the movement confined to the San Jacinto Fault area kind of extends from the uh, right up here about the San Andreas Fault southward. Of course, the plate boundary, the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment over here. We did see one earthquake. Look at this, man. Right, almost right smack dab on it. Ooh, a 2.2, like literally right off the uh, southern tip of the San Andreas Fault. This is where the the monster will be released one of these days. 8.1 magnitude earthquake here for Southern California in the future, no doubt. Not uh, not a matter of if. It's definitely a when it's going to happen. The question is when, right? We don't know. All I know is we start seeing, uh, you know, some, some swarms or some earthquake activity around it. Uh, it's a good idea to take caution and take heed about this uh, major hazard zone. But uh, yeah, 2.2 out, pretty shallow depth, 1.1 kilometers. Like I said, right there on the southern end of the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone. Uh, let's see, up north, north of the Garlock Fault Shear Zone, some spotty activity and uh, a little activity around Long Valley Super Volcano up here once again. Getting a separate swarm of earthquakes near the, uh, what is that? Uh, Tuscan Hills, it looks like. East of Mount Tom. Not for sure what's out there. Uh, the majority of this earthquake activity looks pretty deep. Uh, 2.5, the largest there near the Round Valley area of California. Satellite imagery shows a whole lot of desert out there. And I'm sure some uh, ancient volcano activity in this region. A lot of uh, a lot of volcanic activity up and down this region here in the uh, volcanic table in area. It's a little swarming going on there today. Not a whole lot in Nevada, a couple microquakes out there around the Tonopah area. Bay Area looks pretty quiet, only a couple small earthquakes, including one next to the San Francisco Zoo. 1.1 at 7 kilometers on the San Andreas Fault. And up here, of course, Cobb Mountain area, getting in on quite a bit of uh, man-made earthquakes there with the hydrothermal fields producing some uh, energy out there by injecting, you know what, down below Pacific Northwest little spotty activity throughout the area including one at Mount St. Helens uh, Yellowstone National Park the rest of the states here look pretty quiet not a whole lot happening it looks like in the area uh, Hawaii some movement here looks like near Pahala a little activity spotty activity up here next to the uh, Kilauea volcano sits here in the crater a little separate swarm it looks like uh, Bouncing up and down with, with the uh, variables of the depth there. 3.9, the largest in this little sequence of uh, activity there on the uh, kind of on the southeast flank region, north of the hill in a slump. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Alaska having some little odd activity up north in the Bering Sea region, right around the St. George, Alaska area. Seen a 5.3 and a 3.9. This area doesn't get too much earthquake activity out here. Bring up the all magnitudes here for this region. And uh, as you can see, within the last 30 days, those are the only two quakes. Kicking up there, uh, looks like uh, last night, sometime late last night. Uh, let's see what else we got. I uh, heard the main land, the main highway up here from. Um, Canada to Alaska is closed for a while due to uh, erosion. A big portion of the uh, of the highway up there is gone, like lit literally taken out uh, due to um, looks like water erosion. They did have quite a few thunderstorms up here over the past couple days. Quite a few lightning strikes up there. Not for sure if it started any fires or not, but I know uh, that main road. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, is uh, closed for now. I've always wanted to travel up there from the States up through Canada into Alaska. I think that'd be an awesome trip one of these days, right? Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, Yellowstone National Park. We'll pull these guys up here real quick. And uh, I'm not showing a whole lot of activity here at the Super Volcano in Wyoming. Looks like, um, looks like a whole lot of nothing. 
some spotty activity here and some of this earthquake activity looks like it's distant from this station here but uh, no major swarms no major magnitudes to report there at the Long Valley Super Volcano the tremor map from last night along the Cascadia showed about 91 epicenters here at the southern end of the Cascadia aside from that uh, we'll see what it looks like a little bit later tonight in the uh, tremor department as far as space weather goes looking like a little amplification here due to coronal hole activity looks like um, got some KP indexes here ramp ramping up to about the four level and um, I believe that's due to the coronal hole activity that's facing us right here it's pretty large 97 is kind of ramping up getting a little bit bigger allowing some more solar um, charged particles to flow away from the uh, the Sun and uh, kind of looks like it's dead center towards the earth here and that could provide us with uh, some roars at the higher latitudes I, I believe I seen some uh, or at least seen a couple pictures floating around on social media uh, of some activity up north last night uh, which is pretty cool but these guys are forecasting it looks like maybe a G1 class storm even um, today it looks like although it's not really listed on the six hour block predictions Coronal hole stream could be responsible for displays of aurora at higher latitudes beginning late on July 5th and into the 6th. But uh, we're kind of getting that right now. Ramping up a little bit. Look at the live data. Uh, looks like things kind of mellowed out. We do have an elevated speed here up around the 450 range. And uh, density on the chart here has dropped off. So hard to say. It was elevated a little bit uh, with some density in the solar wind stream allowing some of that KP index there to rise and of course produce the auroras at the higher latitudes but uh, I'm sure that will um, be an option here next couple nights with that uh, coronal hole facing us as far as specific solar flare activity goes uh, we did have that sea flare kick up last night right about the time I was doing the update uh, looks like it ramped up there around the uh, what is it C 5.1 level not a big deal at all uh, but still uh, looks like we might have a little chance I'm not for sure exactly where that came from uh, let's see let's go back here looks like 30 51 30 46 are the only culprits here got 3046 right here kind of ramping up a little bit but uh, another new developing sunspot uh, above it looks like a little bit but uh, I don't know there's nothing significant there that's gonna blast off any major solar flares just like a periodic uh, sea flare once in a while 35% chance of a sea flare M flare has actually went up a little bit from 1% to 5% so we'll see if that uh, continues in that fashion or not so all right folks uh, again I want to wish everyone a happy fourth and uh, make sure you guys play it safe tonight uh, you know unfortunately a lot of stuff happens on events like this celebrations and whatnot not being safe but uh, you know we're just got to watch what we're doing right fireworks can be dangerous and uh, just gonna make sure we uh, keep an eye on them I'm gonna probably just light off some uh, some little ones here for the kids and um, that's about it stay inside where it's hopefully safe and uh, we'll be back here a little bit later tonight with the update video and I'm sure you guys will be hearing fireworks in the background in the microphone maybe not I don't know depends on if I have this fan on or not all right, be safe, guys. Watch this area out, out here around the uh, Andaman Sea area into the Java Trench. Ramp it up significantly there with uh, some moderate earthquake activity. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.